my top tips on how to find Wagovi during a shortage. If you're new here, I'm Kim. I've lost 80 pounds leveraging GLP-1 medications to treat my obesity. Shortage has been an issue with all of GLP-1 medications at one time or another. And sometimes it's near impossible to try to find your medication. Honestly, Wagovi's been the worst. The worst. But I'm about to give you some tips. Ready? One, call pharmacies every day and be as kind as you can. These people are dealing with shortages for way more than just our medications. And they are understaffed, underappreciated. You be as kind as you can be. Get your dollars ready. You're going to have to call a bunch. Be ready to drive. You may have to drive outside your city. You may have to drive outside your state. It's just going to depend on what you can find, where you can find it, and if you're willing to make the drive. Next tip, call hospital pharmacies. Hospitals are often put at the top of the list. And if you think about it, remember when you go into a hospital, they won't let you bring your medication with you, right? You have to get it from their pharmacy when you have been admitted. So they have things sitting on shelves, y'all, even the low dose. Next tip, mom and pop pharmacies. They usually use different distributors. So when a bigger chain like a Walgreens, maybe who always gets their stuff at McKesson, isn't able to get theirs and all the Walgreens around say they aren't able to have them, the mom and pop pharmacy is probably using something different and is able to get it. Be very kind to these people. They don't make a lot of money on these medicines, if anything. Be nice. And my last key tip is call the big guys. Walmart, Sam's, Costco, and call all around. Just because one doesn't have it doesn't mean the other one won't. That's a few miles down the street. Bigger retailers have more shelf space. So there's a higher likelihood that there's just one sitting right there waiting for you. Not to mention, the ones who sell the most get prioritized. And my last and final tip is when you do find it, do a pharmacy run video on TikTok. Lean on your community during this journey. I promise you're going to need it and it will make all the difference in the world. Good luck. Follow me here for more tips on how to advocate for your health.